They're at the Cheyenne Depot Museum. So we'll have a look in there in a moment. We're at one of the boots that are on the Cheyenne boot trail. So there's, there's over 30 hand painted boots throughout Cheyenne. They're all about eight foot tall, which is way taller than me. But when you get to each of the boots, it comes with an audio tour as well. We haven't done the audio tour, but there's so much detail that tells you all about each of the boots. This one here is the Pony Express. The Cheyenne Depot Museum is a stunning example of preservation and pride where the rich history of Cheyenne, Wyoming comes alive. This magnificent building constructed in 1886 was once the iconic Union Pacific Railroad Depot, a bustling activity hub connecting the city to the world. So this helps you work out, depending on the grade of the hill and how many trains and weight can be pulled up that grade. So that's just a way of helping kids to learn about grade and weight, how it works. As you enter, you're transported back in time to the Wild West era, surrounded by restored original architecture. Explore the museum's vast collection, which showcases the city's fascinating history, from its Native American roots to its role in the Transcontinental Railroad. The museum tells stories of railroad workers and settlers who shaped Cheyenne's destiny. There's an amazing display of meticulously handcrafted locomotives, rail cars, and artifacts, highlighting the significance of the railroad in shaping America's landscape. So when you go through the first floor of the museum, there is more. You go upstairs to the second floor. you find one of the world's biggest and most intricate model railway exhibits on the second floor. There's just so much detail and work in here. Apparently it took the guy 30 years to complete this and now there's the maintenance and touch-ups to keep it running. Such a cool set, wish I had this when I was a kid. The Cheyenne Depot Museum is more than just a museum. It's a testament to the city's resilience, perseverance and spirit. It is a proud reminder of the power of preservation, community and the human connection to shared history. So there's this fantastic kids area here where you can build your own railway and it just goes on forever. It's fantastic. So come on in to the Cheyenne Depot and you can make your own railway. So just been through the Cheyenne Depot Museum, fantastic museum, especially if you're into that TV series, Hell on Wheels. We've seen a number of trains come out there hugely long trains here with big diesel engines so if you're into trains if you're into hell on wheels hop into cheyenne the cheyenne depot museum after seeing the museum and having a short wander in downtown cheyenne we hit the road north to a place that I had really wanted to see, Fort Laramie, a site of national historical significance for the wagon trails on the American frontier. The drive took us through more of Wyoming's expansive landscape, and we were happy to be out in the wide open spaces again.
Heading north out of Cheyenne, we've stopped at a rest stop called Chugwater Rest Stop. And we have made our own lunch today. We've pre-packed it. We've got ham and cheese sandwiches, and then we've got oatmeal and raisin biscuits. They're really yummy. And of course, Diet Pepsi. Fort Laramie is a historic frontier outpost in Wyoming that played a pivotal role in the Wild West's most iconic era. Kids could come in here too. And it was operated by the guy that operated the store. Yeah. 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 Buffalo. But they would have to ride quite a way up to get them. You know, and then uh, you probably heard that in the United States, the bison were almost. And they were selling the robes. Yeah. They were very. Good for good. everything. They're, you know. Yeah, yeah. So it was a big deal to them to lose that. Imagine a place where Native American tribes, fur trappers, missionaries, and pioneers converged, shaping the fate of the American West. This former fur trading post turned military fort was a crucial hub for the westward expansion, diplomacy, and conflict. Here, we walk in the footsteps of legendary figures like Jim Bridger, Kit Carson and Crazy Horse, all who passed along this way. We explored the reconstructed fort's rustic buildings, including the old fur trading post, barracks, and even a chapel, and discovered the fascinating stories of the people who lived and worked here, from rugged trappers to determined homesteaders. Fort Laramie witnessed pivotal moments in American history, including the signing of the Fort Laramie Treaty and the Pony Express Passageway. Today, it stands as a testament to the complex and often tumultuous relationships between Native American tribes, the US government, and incoming settlers. Hey mate, I found a loose bar. Get me out. After Fort Laramie, we were so close to the Nebraska state line that we couldn't resist the opportunity to notch up another state in our travel list, even if it only was for an hour or so. We headed east to Scott's Bluff, where we saw another beautiful natural site that gave the area its name. It was so cool to see this towering outcrop above the nearby Nebraska town of Scott's Bluff. As the sun set on another day in this awesome part of the world, we realised it was time to think about heading south. We'd been in Wyoming for just over a week, but now Colorado awaits, and we'll see you on the journey to Colorado in our next episode. Until then, take care of your mates. <laughs>